Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new. My name is Kristen and today I'm going to be showing you guys how I like to do um, microwaved spaghetti squash chicken alfredo. Super good, super tasty. I've already got my plates here ready to go. I'll give you a quick little look-see at it. Oh, so yummy. And the longest part about the whole process is cooking my chicken in the oven, about an hour. Um, everything else goes super quick. So let's go ahead and get on into the video. Okay, so to start off here, I've got my spaghetti squash. I've cooked it for 12 minutes in the microwave. It is six minutes on one side, rotated six minutes on the other. So after it's been done in the microwave, it should cut like butter with your knife. Super easy to cut until you get down to the base of it. That's a little, little bit harder to work through. Sometimes it's easier just to go around it. But that opens up really nicely. Okay, so I like to take some hot mitts here because <laughs> as you can see, it is very hot. A lot of times if you let this sit a little bit to cool, you'll have an easier time handling it. Um, I've been letting mine sit, I don't know, maybe 10 minutes now and uh, clearly it's still very steamy. So we'll just set that one off to the side for the moment. I'm just gonna put them all in the same dish. So you're going to need a spoon to scoop out the seeds like, a, like you would a pumpkin and then a fork for shredding. So if you can have a look in here, you can see all of these seeds right here. And we're just gonna scoop those right out. If you want to roast them up like pumpkin seeds, you can. Um, I've personally never done it, but I don't see why it wouldn't work exactly the same way as a pumpkin seed. They look identical. Um, you are gonna end up pulling out a little bit of the stringy parts, which is gonna act as your noodles, but it's okay because look at how much more we have left. We're totally fine. So you're gonna take your fork and just scrape it right along here. You can see it just pulls right up and it looks just about like, pa honestly, instead of saying it looks like pasta, it looks an awful lot like hash browns. <laughs> but um, you guys kind of see how it looks. You just kind of keep going in about the same direction, get some all off and this will make plenty between the two sides. Um, so yeah, it just kind of starts looking nice and stringy as such. I'm just get it all into the bowl. Super, super easy meal to make, super delicious, low carb, if that's something that you're concerned with. If not, hey, it's still super tasty. We love eating spaghetti squash. Um, so go ahead and start scraping it off into the bowl here. And the pulp of it, which is what I'm scraping out, will, or the fruit of it, or whatever you wanna call it, um, will go straight down to the rind of the spaghetti squash. And if you see some little bits like this, it looks a little more together, a little bit more, I don't know, almost like orange pulp. Um, you can still eat it, it's gonna taste the same, but that's more closer to what you're pulling off from the seeds. So I prefer to set that aside. Cause I really want what's down under the seeds. Okay, we've got one all emptied out and you can see I got it all the way down to the skin of the squash. Set that one aside and then we'll do the same thing here with this one okay so i do find this to be a very wet dish um lots of liquid in the squash so if you can see here at the very bottom of my bowl all that liquid right down in there so i like to take mine and throw it in a strainer really quickly over my sink just to let all of the extra liquid drain off once I've tossed it around the drainer a few times, and what I mean by that is I take it up and I like just literally do this to help get all the moisture out. The squash will start to kind of pack itself down, but if you just take your fork and rake over it, it'll fluff right back up to looking like pasta. So no worries there. Okay, so now I'm gonna add in my Alfredo sauce. This is just the classic Alfredo from Walmart. Along with my sauce, I'm gonna add Parmesan cheese. And then also a little bit of steak seasoning. Black pepper is also really good in Alfredo sauce. And I'm gonna go ahead and give it all a nice toss and get it well combined and mixed together. 
and I am a bit heavy handed on the Parmesan. I'm going to add a little extra in here. Um, just because it being a powdered cheese, it kind of helps to absorb some of the extra moisture that's in this dish. And then to each plate, I'm going to add some baked chicken. It's got some steak seasoning on top. You could also do actual steak or you could add in some shrimp. It would be really good. This is a very versatile recipe, really however you would traditionally do chicken alfredo or alfredo in general. You can do it with spaghetti squash. Super easy, super quick. Took about an hour total just because my chicken took about 45 minutes to cook. So, But, you know, I didn't really have to do much <laughs> during that time frame in my chicken. Okay, and here's a final look at my spaghetti squash chicken alfredo. Super tasty. The alfredo sauce plays beautifully with the flavors of the spaghetti squash. Great, great, easy, and healthy dish. Okay, well that is everything for today's video. I really hope you did enjoy. Let me know in the comments down below, have you ever made this before? Are you gonna try making it before? Have you ever had spaghetti squash? I love it. It's one of our favorites. It's really tasty. Um, so that's everything for this video. I really hope you did enjoy it. Make sure you give it a big thumbs up so other people can find it. Subscribe if you've not already. I'd love to have you here. I make lots of mommy vlogger type content and I hope to catch you guys in my next video.